So this is my first impressions of the Lumix G7. I'll give you a bit of background why I got one because I've been shooting HD for years and I got a JVC HM600 three years ago and uh, although the quality is absolutely brilliant um, I'm aware that 4K is just around the corner in terms of everybody watching it and uh, I thought why not get a camera that's capable of getting 4K images in a much smaller form factor so I looked at the uh, the Lumix GH4, um, but the price point was just too much to to consider at that at that stage. So I found the the G7 looking online, and I watched a whole load of YouTube videos, and thought, well, it's shooting exactly the same ultra high definition 4K codec. So why not give it a go? And this is my first outing with it. I've got on top a a Sony radio mic. Um, I've set the limiters off. Um, I know what I'm doing in terms of manual camera so I'm hoping that this will be able to do everything that I need it to do and shoot some interviews with it and maybe with a different lens. At the moment I'm at the, on the kit lens I got the uh, the 14 to 140 and generally I'm quite impressed. Uh, the pictures that I've had a look at online, on, online have been amazing. The, the pictures that I've taken into Final Cut Pro X uh, let's tell me that the focus is okay. That is right. So that should stay right if the back focus is correct. Just from today's little little experiments, mostly on all automatic and sort of noodling about with a few of the the, the manual settings. I, I've been impressed. I mean, when you look at a 1080 frame um, and it occupies not once, not twice, not three times, but four times the landscape of 4K, it's absolutely amazing. So if you're using this camera to go onto YouTube vlogging or, or, or doing any content that's going to end up on YouTube, and let's face it, 1080 on YouTube is absolutely fine. You've got the ability to shoot an interview and punch in four times or zoom in. It makes it a really useful tool. And at this price point, you can't complain. I mean, it's it's half the price of a body-only GH4, and that comes with the lens. So for me, I had all the other little bits of kit. I had the um, I've got an old Sennheiser MKE microphone that I bought in 1998 that I tried out. This is a test of the Sennheiser MKE on top of the Lumix G7. My major gripe with this camera when I went to buy it was the fact that it didn't have a headphone socket, but the radio mic that I'm using has actually got a monitor headphone socket on it. If I know the levels are right and I can see the PPMs on the LCD screen, I know I'm fairly certain that I'm gonna be getting around about the right sort of levels. And in terms of additional kit, I can always get a beach box which will have pan pots on it and a monitor coming straight from the the beach box so I pretty know as long as I know they're calibrated and lined up correctly I know it's going to be okay so this is a test of the Sony radio mic um, I'll just check what focus it's on this is also on a monopod testing one two three testing one two three I've got the uh, limiters off and I've got the uh, PPMs up on the screen that's good that shows me that my beard is in focus I've got the little blue that's good so that's probably the best way to do it. 29 minutes remaining on this card at 4K. Good, so hopefully the levels will be okay. I'll have a little fiddle about. I've got this Sony radio pack here. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. So minus three is right for the radio pack. And I adjusted it so I could see the PPMs. And then when I took it into Final Cut Pro, it was coming out at minus six. So I was happy with that. I was happy with that. So in terms of a camera looking, looking forward, this is going to exceed what I need it to do. It's a 4K video. It can uh, take a microphone input. The kit lens is good, but I can always swap it out and put some more expensive glass on it if needs be. 
But to be honest, for the stuff that I do, for the stuff that I'm looking for it to do, it's going to be a completely capable tool for what filmmaking I do. And the amount of people I see online saying, well, it can't do this and it can't do that. You can still make films with it. You can still make amazing, amazing films with it. Just, you'd have to be a little bit creative. And even those acts of being creative with the tech that you, you can afford, might lead you to find an interesting new way of doing things. And also never use the equipment that you have available to you as a way of saying, oh, I can't do it. I can't be creative because I can't afford to be. You've all got 4K, you've all got 1080 on your mobile phones. You know, people can go out there and create amazing content. And I think the Panasonic Lumix G7 it's a good stepping stone to get into 4K and then really push it to its boundaries and then once you know this camera inside out, the GH4 is wait waiting for you. So there we go. I just wanted to give my perspective of my first day with it and from my first day I am wholeheartedly impressed and I think I've made a really good investment that I'm going to get the absolute most out of. So keep watching my channel for more information about what I get up to with the G7. I'll be posting updates and also all our content on wegoc.tv is going to be produced with the G7. So thanks for watching. I've been Andy. You've been fantastic. See you again soon.